Good evening, friends. When uh, Sivani came to my office uh, some four five months back and explained to me the whole concept, and then I was talking to her about uh, a few of my projects. This that she says uh, she asked me, Mr. Riker, which of the projects you like the most? I said, what kind of a question is that? If you ask a mother, which child love you more? I said, that's no question. But then. I started thinking, well, is there a project that I genuinely love more or I genuinely like more? I went into introspection and I thought Taj. Why Taj? Because it's a story of hate from construction to 26-11-2008. I'm sure some of you don't know. Sir Jamshedji Nasarwanji Tata was uh, not allowed to enter a British club. I'm talking of last years of 19th century or very early 20th century. And, you know, dogs and Indians not allowed and all that stuff. Because he was an Indian, he was not allowed. He went out and said, this hatred, I must take a revenge. And he constructed this palatial club, come five star hotel, constructed by an Indian for Indians. What a sweet revenge. After that, there was another hate story from our friendly neighbors. I don't understand why they have been hating us for almost seven decades now. But well, that's the way they are. And we have been tolerating them. This is another hate story. They hate us, we don't. And this is what they do to our structures. Again, why I love this structure as my best project? Because it's a fight of a technocrat against terrorism. I cannot pick up a gun, but friends, I can pick up this. I said, Aap todo, hum jodenge. You, for, for the lady who may not understand Hindi, you break and we will rebuild in the shortest possible time. Friends, with this sentiment, sentiment for the structure, sentiment for the cause why it was built, sentiment for the country, fight against them, collectively, we quoted rupee one as my professional charges for the project. This, thank you. This gesture was well appreciated by the Tata group, but they insisted that I have my legitimate professional dues. But this is why the project is very close to my heart. There are several areas where uh, there have been damages. The Bell Tower suite was totally collapsed. Taj Club dining was totally collapsed. The sloping roof had tremendous damage. The glass uh, skylights was totally damaged. Windows on the sixth floor were damaged. Typically, those Johnnies got 60 hours from 9.930 of 26.11 to uh, I think 29 early morning. That was a Saturday. And that Saturday, uh, the structure was sanitized and given back to the Taj group. I was in a marriage uh, in Delhi. We received a call. I had to rush back. Sunday morning, we started the so-called investigation of the damage. Friends, the damage was huge. Quantum-wise, no. But it hit me badly here. No professional in the world should get a project for these reasons. I specialize in restoration of structures. So I have seen structures affected by earthquake, floods, corrosion, process, blast. Again, that's another area, 1993 blasts. We have been involved in 
majority of the structures in Mumbai, last affected structures. That's again a hate story. No professional should get structures for this reason. I think, did we lose a slide? Yes. What you see in this photograph is uh, a damage due to a hand grenade. In the first few hours, the building was evacuated of the human beings. So then they didn't know what to do. So they started burning the structure, left, right and center. The entire sixth floor, major part of it on the south side was burnt down. Interiors were burnt. I'm used to seeing a lot of damage to structure. But friends, a carpet fully soaked with human blood is something which I would not, I'm not a doctor, medical professional, no. I would not like to see blood on my site. But I was, I was introduced to all those things. Blood stains as if a dead body was dragged 40 feet, 50 feet. Very, very gory sight when we took it. Steel, stone, concrete and wood. Four major construction materials were damaged by grenade blasts and fire. This was one unique site where I got to uh, tackle all these four problems. Corrosion, yes. That was not related to the terrorist attack, but corrosion problem was. This is very badly affected glass roof. You will see photographs of how it was. Built our dome roof. Friends, this is one of the suites Taj has. The whole roof collapsed. This is a case study we will be seeing in detail. I can go on and on and on as far as the distress is concerned. Stone damaged by bullet marks, fire. The major challenges was non-availability of accurate as-built drawings, non-availability of any structural drawings. This is where I would like to stop and tell you. The structure was originally constructed only five floors in somewhere in 1903. And the sixth floor was added by making minor changes and introducing a mezzanine in between in early 60s. Unfortunately, no drawings were available, no structural details, no details of material of construction. The problem was combined attack of grenades and fire. And the biggest challenge was time constraint. If you know, friends, the tar portion, RCC, which was not all that damaged, but still it had three floors which were damaged, was started in 27 days, from 26-11 to 23rd of December, uh, uh, Sir Ratan Tata inaugurated the tower portion. We extracted a lot of samples. It showed a lot of crack due to fire. I don't want to bore you with the technicalities. We went into endoscopic inspections, microscopic inspections of the material. This is how the dome looked. The bell tower suite before devastation. And this is how it looked when I went to site. The whole roof collapsed, no drawings available. What do you do? Luckily, same dimensions, presidential suite was available in the north side. So we had to physically climb up and take dimensions of presidential suite dome. But that wasn't easy. How do you develop the connections? This had curvilinear form, composite, bell-shaped roof. It's a three-dimensionally bent wood. It's never taught to us in engineering college. I'm sure dome construction in wood is not taught in architectural colleges also. Friends, this drawing, we had to recreate from taking dimensions to going back to the drawing board, I myself went to the drawing board for almost eight hours of mine. I spent on the drawing boards after 20 years of my career. I had left drawing board somewhere in 86, 87. 
well it was friends it was a necessity I, we had to think imagine and we developed earthquake resistant connections friends this is a dome we first created a dome out of ply that ply dome costed us 3 lakhs just to see whether yes it fits we removed that and redid the whole thing in wood friends this section here is 300 by 600 size burma teak those of you who are in the profession know the cost of burma teak is just next to gold so i told the taj group i said sir most of it is going above the false ceiling why do you want to use burma teak we can use ghana teak or the engineering me says sir let's make it in concrete so stupid of me but still as a professional i had to tell them that these options were available see the integrity of tata group they said no our chairman sir ratan tata would be announcing in public that we have restored it to its original glory so if it was burmatic use burmatic <laughs> friends in just the bell tower suite they have used 1.8 crores worth of burmatic i clap for it this is this is what is integrity of the people i do not know if it was any other group the decision could have been different taj club dining also had a problem major problem steel damage fire damage this is how it looked so beautiful and this is how the people how can they even think of ruining the structure so beautiful there were another challenges very of minor nature that there were different designs on different floors unless you go into detailing friends it's because i personally believe detailing is god see the amount of detailing that is there in this in this world in this universe take a flower take a fruit how a flower converts into a fruit what amount of detailing so detailing is god this is this is something which we had to it taught me that every floor had a different detail of the handrail you must be thinking who this fellow is is it a wrong slide in a wrong forum friends he is my istri wala lady the iron man in india uh, the labor is still not very expensive he comes to my residence this is my kitchen he comes and does ironing you this lovely clothes that i'm wearing why am i showing it to you he is my guru he taught me one thing he said sir my father taught me ironing that his father taught him ironing and he said once the clothes are ironed kapda aapke sath samne dekhe hasna chahiye that is professionalism it means the ironed cloth must smile at you in appreciation that is professionalism see i believe a professional has hunger at three locations dil dimag or pet i will not translate this i can't <laughs> because this some things are better explained in hindi here these sentiments come to me better in hindi so whenever i cross this structure i look at it and i feel it's smiling at me i feel it's smiling at me